Yeah. How do you time manage uh, all of those tasks? Great question. Um, I've gotten faster at creating the videos over time. So I think I mentioned, I come from a video production background. I've spent a lot of time editing. And so my editing has gotten a little quicker. Um, so that saves time. And, you know, when you first start something new, it's going to take you, it's going to be slow at the beginning. And then when you get used to it, you'll get um, more comfortable being on camera. You'll have to edit less. You'll have a better idea of the type of video that you want to make. You're not reinventing the wheel every time you do it. So I think that's, that's a big part of it. Um, I'm not the most super like, my wife is great at this. She will plan her week out to a T. She has great lists that she'll check things off. That's not my strength. I've had to become a little bit better in that area. Um, I have a um, content calendar that shows where I'm at, what I'm doing for this month. I can plan out a month or two ahead of time on what the YouTube content is. Um, so that's the YouTube aspect of it. A large part of the rest of my business is as automated as it possibly can be. I've made my course one time, and this is a digital project product that I can sell endless amounts of that I've put the work in one time. Um, now, there always is responding to um, customers' questions. Um, you know, you, you have that aspect of it, but a lot of the, the sales... And, um, and the teaching is very automated. Now I, I do offer, I have two main things. So I sell my digital, my online courses, but I also have a membership, a subscription site. And um, that is where I don't do Patreon anymore. I have my own site. People subscribe, they get a monthly tutorial. I do critique a, a group video critique every other month. So I've come up with th this, this recurring um, you know, uh, this other content that I can offer for as a subscription model as well. So those are the two main parts of my business. Um, but it's built in a way that is largely passive. When people sign up for my lead magnet that I mentioned earlier, then they get fed um, an automatic series of emails that teach. I offer a lot of high value teaching. And then eventually I do come to a pitch for my course. And they can either take me up on that offer or just stay on my email list and they get an email every week that talks about my YouTube video that offers good teaching. And I, I have thousands of people that just take advantage of my free learning. And I think that's wonderful. Not everyone's going to buy. You have to go into this knowing that about 1% of your leads are going to spend money. And if you can get that number through your head, it doesn't feel so defeating. It's just like, that's just kind of the nature of the business. So this, if I'm getting this many leads, I can, I know approximately what that's going to mean for me as far as sales goes. So to answer your question, I've gotten quicker on YouTube and a lot of these tasks are automated. Um, but I will say that, you know, I'm, I'm starting my third year of doing this full time in February. And one thing that I've noticed you know, the first year was like, it's kind of like if you're realizing that you, uh, you're not sure if you're going to fly and you're flapping your wings really hard <laughs> and you realize that you are flying and it's amazing, but you feel like you still have to flap your wings really hard to stay up in the air. Well, year two, I've been like, okay, things are working. I'm paying the bills. Everything's going to be fine. Um, now I can enjoy this experience a little bit more and try to like find ways to automate as much as I can and make things, you know, work as well time-wise. But one thing I found out kind of in going into my second year is I have to prioritize my painting over anything else. If I'm not prioritizing my painting, things are getting out of whack. I'm not feeling like I'm as good a, as a teacher as I should be. Um, and I just, I, I'm, I have to enjoy what I'm doing because, because that's the whole reason why I'm doing this. The whole reason why I want to learn how to build an online course was so I could spend more time painting. And so I would just give that little bit of advice to anyone who's wanting to, to take the leap or has taken the leap um, or just wants to dip their toe in the water and start a Patreon or whatever. 
you have to prioritize the part of it that you love. So if I'm painting often and I'm feeling, um, you know, engaged in that area and excited, and you're not always going to feel that way, there's going to be ups and downs in your creativity. Excuse me. But if you can prioritize it, um, for me anyway, it makes everything else feel so much better and more in balance if I prioritize, prioritize my painting.